Hey guys, okay, so now I'm talking to talk about the DPS Altitude Visa Signature card, the one I am using, which I'm having uh, no quite a bit of uh, uh, liking to this card, right? So, DPS. So, it's one of the most popular Air Miles card, right, for you know, fresh grad and young working adults. So, you earn Air Miles at a standard rate of $1 to 1.2 miles. And Frank speaking, is actually more than this, like, because uh, for every $1, you get 1 DBS points, and 1 DBS point can redeem for 2 miles. So, technically speaking, right, I actually earn more miles than that. So, uh, the minimum criteria is uh, 30,000 uh, per annum, and then uh, if you have like online and uh, hotel bookings, right, of course, you get 1 to 3 miles, which I'm always using. So, uh, well, the best thing, the local spend itself is actually $1 is to 1.2 miles and overseas spend is $1 is to 2 miles. So it's actually low on the lower end. It's just that the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, uh, bonus category is actually quite a bit where you have online and flight booking bonus, you have hotel booking bonus, and then hotel bookings uh, on the Expedia also. Right, so bonus points. This is where right we have four point five DBS points per five dollars, which I'm actually using quite a bit, and then you have two dollars fifty uh, uh two two point five DBS points per five dollars spent, and then etc. Uh, Caligo at seven miles per one dollar, Expedia three dollars, a uh, three miles per one dollar. So uh, you know, only for the first five thousand uh online uh. uh hotel or hotel uh, flight spend per calendar month you actually get the bonus category so but of course what uh, you know is always excluding right the dba uh, the bill payments via access issues payments hotel bills utility betting and uh, bank payments are not uh, eligible so of course it's not actually uh, uh, yes one of the best malls like i said one dollar is actually two miles overseas so it's actually so-called a bucket rate um but the one is to three uh one dollar to three miles earn is actually not bad so they also offer a one is to ten miles uh, uh you know, on hotel bookings or clay go and one is one dollars to six miles on hotel booking on expedia so it's actually not bad so you have this accelerator uh, i think this is where right uh it actually maximizes so if you want to uh, uh, register for the mouse salary program, they allow you to uh, earn an additional amount on everything you spend, both local and overseas, with a 2% administrative charge on your expenses, which actually is so high. Because your administrative charge on expense uh, uh, is about 3.25 on the foreign spend, so it's actually pretty decent. So here's a breakdown of additional amounts you earn. So if you have uh, spending $2,000, you actually earn two, a base rate of 2.4 miles, 2.4K miles. And then you have additional 2,000 miles. But of course, you have to spend additional 2%. Uh. So the MEP is $40, uh, but you get additional uh, 4,000 miles. This actually is not bad. For $1, you actually get 4,100 miles. So uh, all in, right? If you were to have like you know a uh, seven thousand dollars spent, uh, you know you actually get a uh, accrue of twenty thousand nine hundred miles, which actually well, I would say is actually not bad. So frankly speaking, we will look at the uh, extra uh stuff, right? You actually earn fifty miles per one dollar, eh? So to be honest, not bad. And the bonus category, you know, first five thousand dollars, it also applies for the mouse accelerator program. So I would say that well, this card is actually pretty decent. I actually earned quite a bit of mouse from here, and I had a business class uh, redeemed from here as well. So beginner mouse collector should know that okay, every uh, conversion will incur a twenty six dollars seventy five cents and min fee. Ah, uh, this is expensive, ah. Huh? So the uh there is automatic uh, uh conversion if you need to then the annual conversion fee is uh, uh 42 ATR. this is something i haven't used it yet but i think i might want to use it soon so the auto uh, uh yeah the, there's a big but convert converting your dbs points as quiz very much mean expiry will be subjected to the quiz fire term of one year so if you don't want your mouse to expire then don't convert retain their DBS points which would not uh, expire so you got low minimum requirement so it's perfect for students and working adults uh, yeah so this is actually a card I'm using and I'm still using it right now so uh, the rates are okay but the bonus earn rates actually varies pretty solid so you can actually check it out 
and then you have a sign up bonus you can get 34,000 miles with promo code whatever okay but that's a long time I think right now you can find uh, a better promo code so uh, you can actually earn up to 24,000 miles with annual fee waiver so what are the privileges that you can actually see uh? okay uh, well of course I think now it's 224 la, so all this actually uh, based on uh, twin, uh, year 20, it's 2022, right? So maybe you can actually check out the latest one right now. So, of course, you are entitled to free two lounge visit as well. So, I kind of like it. Uh, I uh, personally use this as well. And of course, you can always stack with other credit cards to make sure that you have all the lounge visits that you want. Annual fee itself 192.60, wait for one year, pretty decent. Sub card, uh, don't bother. $96 for one card. Interest fee period uh, this is pretty good for me because uh, I should usually stretch my dollar. So interest fee period is at 25 days. Um, late fee $100, a 3% minimum fee, cash advance 8%. This is bloody high to be honest. My other cards are trading at 6%. So minimum income at 30000 for Singaporeans and non-Singaporeans $45,000.